Hello, this is Keisha from WeBlogBetter.com and I wanted to do a quick tutorial today just to show you some very basic WordPress skills. So the first thing you need to do of course is to log in. Now as you can see we're here in your dashboard and there's quite a few options it can kind of look a little overwhelming but just take your time um, the first thing you want to do is if if you want to go directly to add a new post you just simply go to posts as you can see there's a drop down menu if you want to add a new one you'll click add new we're going to start as if you already had a bunch of posts waiting to be edited. You'll find the title of the post that you want to edit and then you'll click edit. And it'll take you directly to the post that you that you want to make changes to. You can scroll down and don't forget to add your choose your categories that's going to be in the right sidebar scroll down a little more and you can add some tags and these are good for the search engine so don't forget to add these and that's it make sure you update your post so that the changes will take effect oh yeah you can also preview it so that you'll see what it will look like in a browser so I'm going to show you what this post looks like. And now in WordPress, you can actually edit the post right here. Just click edit post and it'll take you back to your editing screen. You can make whatever changes you want there. Now let's say we want to add a brand new post. You'll just click add new, type in a title for your new post, add your text here, and you can format it um, by using these buttons up here. Um, you can bold your text, or you could make it italicized. Um, you could add header text. Um, you could do various things. Um, you can add the use the more feature. Um, you'll use this to break things up on your home page so that only like the first paragraph will show. This is very good to keep your home page uncluttered and you'll do this manually for each post and you can move it around. You don't just have to you know settle for it being anywhere. You can definitely control exactly where you want it to stop and then you can either save this as a draft you can preview it you could either publish immediately or you could edit the date you could edit the time and have it published automatically in the future um, you just click OK if you want those to take into effect if you want to publish now you just hit publish or if you add a time that's at a later date you'll notice that after you click OK publish changes to schedule so you just click that and it'll schedule your post for you now we're back in the posts and I want to show you this feature called the quick edit where you just click the quick edit option and then it brings up these things that allows you to make changes without going into the actual post you can select various things you can make this post sticky that means it'll stay at the top you can save it as a draft pending review published and of course you can add tags here let's say you forgot you don't want to necessarily open up the whole post you can just add it here of course remember to click update now let's say you want to add some pictures 
you just go to media add new select files and you can choose more than one photo at a time if you have the flash uploader um, just pick the ones you want click open and as you can see they upload themselves and if you want to look at them click show and actually this is where you'll get the URL for each individual picture that you add if you wanted to add this to a post you could just highlight it and then right click it and copy another way um, to add pictures is to just go you know to the library this will show you all of your pictures that you've uploaded over time this will this is how you can access them you just click the one you want to look at click edit on oh, don't hit delete permanently or it will be gone permanently um, but anyway once you get to the edit you can highlight the the uh, URL there and do the same thing right click it copy now let's say you want to add a picture directly to your post you go back to your posts you click edit and wherever you want the picture to go you click there and you click the upload picture now if you already have it in your library you just click media library you click on show scroll down you can center it you can put it to the left you choose your size in this case only the full size is available then you click insert into post and then there it is there's your picture now I want to show you how to add it for as a URL you just type in your URL here if you know the pictures URL um, this is very uncommon I rarely use this but just so you know um, you could also upload a picture from your computer select files just like you did uploading it to the media library and it does it processes the same way only now you select where you want it in your post if you want to center it um, you the size and you click insert post and then if you're done you just click publish or update and that adds the picture to your post Now I want to show you how to move or change your widgets. You just go to appearance, click widgets, and it'll take you to this widget, the widget uh, pa admin panel. And then as you can see, you can click the arrow and it opens them up and shows you either the text or various options. You can click and drag them and move them around let's say you don't want it anymore you can just move it drag it down to inactive widgets and just drop it there um, it'll save your settings so you won't have to redo it in case you change your mind about it and you could just re-add it later let's say you want to add a new widget you just pull it from the from the left and drag it into the the widget area oops sorry about that scroll down and then you just click save that saves your widget settings and that's really it. Um, if you want to add, let's say, let me move this out of the way, add a, a text widget. You just drag it over and drop it. You give your widget a title. And just click in the box. And then this is where you add the code. Let's say you've got an image you want to add here or a link you just make sure you click save when you're done with it you can then just close it by clicking close let's say you don't want it anymore you can just delete it all together and that's really it adding and moving widgets around is just really simple it's just a matter of knowing the code that you want to add um, the first part of this video just showed you how to edit your posts, how to add a new post. We showed you how to add a picture and now how to move around your widgets. So thank you for watching. This is Keisha, weblogbetter.com.